Welcome back, Murdoch. In this episode, we will be covering next year's Grease Strip, Spring Sports, a bingo fundraiser, course selection, and more today, March 8th, 2024. Good morning, Devils. I am Ava Boussier. And I'm Tanner Bermahal. And we are your news anchors for Blue Devil Weekly. Congrats to Ruth Adams for getting accepted into Franklin Pierce. She received the Fitzwater Scholarship, which grants her $2,000 per year and a trustee scholarship of $35,000 per year. Attention students, your course selection sheets were due to your first period teacher today. Please make sure you get them to the right place if you haven't yet. We have a riddle for you guys this week. Make sure you have your thinking caps on for this one. You see a boat filled with people, yet there isn't a single person on board. How is that possible? Make sure to stay tuned for the end of the video to see the answer. Now we are going to toss it over to Steven and Jeff for this week's sports update. Thank you, Tanner and Ava, and welcome back to Murdoch Sports. The varsity hockey team won the first round of playoffs at North Reading with a score of 2-1. to one. The varsity hockey team lost in the second round of the playoffs to Sandwich. Spring sports are starting soon. If you plan on playing any spring sports, make sure you're signed up on Family ID. And you're getting an updated physical. Next week after school on Tuesday and Thursday, Coach Duplice will be holding a speed and conditioning club 2.30 to 3.45 in the gym. This is open to all students. Bring shoes. That concludes this sports segment. And, and back, back to, to you in the studio. studio. Guys, next year the Tribal Club is going to Greece. There was a Zoom meeting on Tuesday. Locations like Athens, Corinth, Olympia, Delphi, and more were discussed. Please contact Miss Rondo for more information. The Murdoch Varsity Cheer Team is selling Blue Devil blankets for $20. They are available in the main office. See Miss Conley to buy one while they are available. Last Friday, the Gardner Veterans Arena held a ceremony and open skate night in all in honor of our fallen brother, Carter Veyu. His jersey number 44 was retired for the Sting Youth Hockey Team. The proceeds from that night went to the CJV Foundation. Are you interested in spring sports? You can sign up on Family ID. Tryouts for baseball and softball will start Monday, March 18th. Sign-ups for track and field are also available on Family ID. Now we're going to toss it, drop it down to Colin for this week's question of the week. Who am I here with today? Levi. Levi, what's your dream job? Motocross engineer. NFL. Pilot. Comedian. Uh, criminal investigator. Red game artist. Teacher. Contracting. Uh, probably the president of Nicaragua. Mob boss. Professional FMX rider. Professional snake milker. Professional Krabby Patty flipper. Working for AMD. Biomedical engineer. Sleeping. Landscape photographer. To be a meteorologist. A uh, dance teacher. A uh, astronomer or voice actor. Police officer. I'm doing my dream job. Back to you at the studio. Thanks, Colin. Attention, juniors. There is a bottle and can drive tomorrow starting at 9 a.m. and going until noon. Please get involved if you can. Reach out to Mr. Collins for any last minute information. I hear he'll have some treats if you show up to help volunteer. On Sunday, March 17th, there is a Vendor Bingo Night, which is a fundraiser for the Travel Club. It will be held in Elks Lodge in Gardner from 1 to 3 p.m. You can play bingo for prizes supplied by the local vendors. Bingo is $5 for 10 games. There will also be door prizes and additional raffles. Attendees can play as many games as they like. There is another event similar to this in April as well that will be covered in future episodes. Spring is here, which means it's time to do course selection. A few changes have been made to the graduation requirements recently. There, Ava was able to get an interview with Mr. Fredette about the new course requirements. Let's see what he had to say. Can you tell us about the addition of personal finance? Absolutely. So. 
Something that was really important to us was kind of looking at how we're preparing students for the future, uh, not just a little bit. Something that was really important for us um, as educators is to think about how we prepare students for the future when they get out of school. Um, and one of the biggest needs we determined was um, looking at things like um, how do students manage um, debt, how do students manage credit cards, um, apply for loans, you know, when they decide to purchase vehicles or in, really make any big purchases in their life and how do we prepare them to kind of manage their finances. Um, and so we looked at our current courses and we determined that personal finance was really kind of a key class. Um, and so important, in fact, that we wanted to make sure it was, it was mandatory for all students. Um, so moving forward, starting with next year's um, program, this, this year's going to next year's program study, um, the personal finance class will be a graduation requirement for and that you can either take in your junior or senior year. Um, but it will start with the class of 2026 because um, that way it gives the juniors an opportunity to have those two years to take the class so they can choose to take it, the rising juniors will choose to take it next year or the year after. Next year's seniors will have the option of taking it. We're hoping that they will. Um, we're really going to encourage them to take it. It is a, an elective course or a half year course. Um, so we're hoping that we can kind of show them the value of that. And can you tell us about the community service hours and how that will be implemented for each class? Absolutely. So another important thing, we determine what were the values um, that we hold dear at Murdoch and in Winchington itself, and that is giving back to the community. Um, a lot of other schools have already implemented community service requirements for graduation. Um, and so we looked at it and we thought, you know, what, what was going to be possible for us? Um, we are a rural community, um, but it's important that students understand the value of community service and giving, giving back to their community that, that raised them and took care of them and provided them with an education um, and provided them with, with support. And so we determined that we were going to be have, adding a 40-hour community service requirement for graduation, uh, but again, implementing it in steps. So our rising seniors would have 10 hours as a requirement, our rising juniors would have 20, rising sophomores would have 30, and then starting with the class of 2028, which is our incoming freshmen, would start with the full 40 hours. Um, while it's not, it wouldn't be required to do, you know, to break it up, um, we would recommend that students kind of break it up 10 hours. I mean, effectively, it kind of works out to be, be about 10 hours a year. Um, if people want to break it up like that, they certainly can do all of it right away, and we're hoping they go beyond the 40 hours. Um, but there will be, um, you know, there'll be a coordinators for the, the um, community service hours. There'll be sheets that you have to complete. Um, and obviously we'll provide kind of, you know, resources for places that you can um, complete community service hours as well, both in Winchington and in the surrounding areas. Um, but there'll be a lot more kind of coming down the pike as far as clarifying what those look like. Okay, and that's all the questions I have for today. Thank you. Thanks, Ava. Thursday, March 21st is World Down Syndrome Awareness Day. This date was picked to signify the uniqueness of the triplication of the 21st chromosome, which causes Down syndrome. Ms. Fry's sociology and citizenship class and Ms. Ellis's all class are excited to coordinate a sock drive during the month of March. Bags will be given to period three teachers. Bring new socks to donate. All socks will be donated to the CAC and Murdoch clothing pantry. The class with the most socks will receive a breakfast party. Collections will run from March 11th to the 29th. Collections are also being taken by the community at Unique Dental, not just produce, the Clark and Town Hall. Attention meat lovers, tomorrow is National Meatball Day. I don't know about you guys, but I'm definitely digging into some meatballs for dinner. Enough of that though. Let's turn the time over to our meteorologist, Alex LeBlanc. Where, where's Alex? I don't know, where, 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 where like, Alex isn't here? What do you, what do you mean Alex isn't here? Where, the weatherman's is not Alex? here? What? Wait, we're on the, we're in the air. Oh, oh. Thank you and welcome back, Murdoch. Let's jump right back in today's weather report. Today, it will be mostly cloudy with a chance of snow before 10 a.m. Temps will rise into the high 40s and drop into the mid 20s. Tomorrow, it will be rainy 
and cloudy all day. Temps will rise into the mid 40s and drop into the mid 30s. Sunday, there is a chance of rain mixed with snow. Temps will rise into the mid 30s and drop to the low 30s during the night. The beginning of next week, it will be sunny on Monday and Tuesday with a chance of rain and snow on Wednesday. That's all we have for the weather segment this week. Back to you guys in the studio. Thanks, Alex. Earlier this week, the Murdoch Student Council traveled to Cape Cod for the annual statewide conference. There, students participated in workshops and met other students from across the state. On Wednesday, the students participated in the annual polar plunge to benefit Special Olympics. Attention anyone going to prom, if you are in need of a prom dress, there is a prom event at Oakmont High School. It will take place in their main lobby. It starts today at 4 and goes until 6. There is another one tomorrow going from 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. If you are interested, please contact Ms. Rondo. That'll do it for this week, Murdoch. But before we go, for the people that stayed for the riddle, let's answer it. The riddle was, you see a boat filled with people, yet there isn't a single person on board. Mm -hmm. How is that possible? Because they're all married. Thanks for that, Tanner. That's all we have for this week. Daylight savings time begins on Sunday, which means spring is just around the corner. Don't forget to turn those clocks forward by one hour. Make sure to stay updated by following us on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok at MurdochHS. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell so that you will be notified every single time we post. See you next week, Devils.